I was adopted when I was three years old. My mother was a single nurse. She originally first got me into the Shriners. I've always had the KFOs uh, lock me in various forms. So they started me off with like the lock me braces with uh, like the hip surrounding, and then they eventually were able to get that off. Um, then they, I also was able to get the, instead of having the um, prosthetic shoes, then I was able to, to go to wearing any shoes. The braces that I have now are the EMAG braces. They are computerized braces where they control my lock knees now. So that way it recognizes the stride, the step of my legs, and then it goes ahead and bends the knees at every step. What it's doing is taking less pressure off my, my joints, my arms, my shoulders. Um, so it's allowing me to actually walk and learn how to walk uh, bending my knees at every step, which is something very new to me. Um, I am very new to the mags, so I'm hoping that it will, you know, that it will be very beneficial, especially getting older. And so I'm hoping, hope, hope it really works out. Hangar has always been there for me. They've been very accommodating. They have always worked with me whenever I said I've, I felt discomfort, you know, where the braces need to change. They, you know, and they're very open and honest, to my opinion, about what to expect and, and work with me about with my braces, uh, how I feel about them what I should expect, especially with the new EMAGs. I mean, they've been with me every step of the way with the EMAG and working with me and kind of going through that physical therapy process of these are the braces, this is what you should expect, this is what you're going to be feeling, and, uh, you know, you need to work on it. So they're, they're very good with that. I think honesty is the biggest characteristic for me, and it's very important for me. Uh, someone that's going to be honest and just pretty much straightforward. You know, so I really appreciate the fact that my practitioner, he has been very, you know, it's like, yes, he was very hesitant in the beginning about putting me in the EMAGs, but after he was able to watch the way I walk, watch my, pros my progress, and then recognizing that, yes, the EMAGs would work, and, and was very open to, to test it out, and very open to let me test it out, like, let me be the guinea pig, in a sense, to do this. I'm, you know, I'm very honored to do that. So I have no problems, you know, telling somebody go and do it. I don't, I don't think you should actually hold back on something like that. I actually got the motorcycle just short before I got um, the the new, new Emax. But basically, the motorcycle that I decided to buy it was just something that honestly is a spontaneous shopping. I, but I do like, I, I just love motorcycles. I've always had it. What allured me to it, one, I feel it was safer. Is you know we're talking about two wheels in the front, one in the back, a little bit faster. But it's also an eye catcher. The only modification that they were able to do for me, which that was the perfect modification, was they were able to put a handbrake on the motorcycle. As for the EMAG, again, it allows me to bend the knees a little bit easier and then just get on and then go. Uh, I would not like to call myself a daredevil because I'm sure my insurance company would like not like that. But um, no, I think a lot of it has to do with my mom. She really taught me how to be independent and just how to, you know, obviously take care of myself. And I guess with her being a nurse, that was a very strong suit. You know, I've traveled, I've gone cross country. I've, I love road trips. I love, you know, going swimming and going and doing all those other stuff. And I've done it. You know, I've done the skydiving and, and the bungee jumping. Um, swimming with the dolphins, whatever. I've done all that stuff. I like it, and I don't think I want to stop. You know, it's just I'm not a sedentary kind of person, and have broken a few braces in the process. But okay. I have not yet done the going to Egypt and going up the pyramids. I might work on that one of these days. I don't know. It's hard for me to say that because I mean I've done a lot of things. I've. I, I wish I could say what I can't do. I can't think of anything, honestly. I don't know, really. <laughs>